What's up everyone? It's Life with Luna back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how I knit my horse bonnets. I'm not like the best at giving tutorials, so stay with me here. Anyways, let's get straight to it on with the video. To start off, we have to choose our yarn. So let's go to my yarn bin and get the colors. This is all of my yarn. There's a lot of it, yeah. Um, I don't really know what color I want to do. All right, that took way too long to decide. I decided to do like light blue and dark blue stripes. So let's get started. I will show you how to start. Okay, I have to untangle my yarn. Okay, we're gonna start by casting on. So you're gonna make a slip knot, which um, I'm gonna leave like tutorials because I suck at explaining things, but basically I loop it around my fingers and then I tuck it through the end and pull it. Okay, and then you're gonna attach that to the end of your needle like this. Now you're gonna cast on, I cast on 40 stitches for Luna and like, I don't know, 30 for Gracie. And this one's probably gonna be for Gracie. So I'm gonna do like 36 cause she's a bigger mini. Then for a horse, I'd do like 50 probably. How I cast on, I take it with my thumb and then I tuck it, go around and then this little crisscross, I go on the inside of the crisscross and do it off. 36. Okay, that's all my things. It looks really tiny on this needle, but trust me, it gets bigger. Now I'm just gonna go in with the basic knit stitch, I think, which is you take it and then you, again, I'm gonna leave a tutorial on this cause I suck at explaining things. Also, I'm left-handed, so this is gonna be backwards if you're right-handed. Poke it in the back and then I take my needle and I loop it around and bada bing bada boom one and then you're just gonna do all of those like that okay we finished the first little row so now i'm just gonna continue for gracie i think i'm gonna do less if you have a horse usually one second, I got... okay this is what i made for luna so it's big it's big see it's beautiful she looks great in it um but I, the, this is where we are right now, this top bit. That's what I just cast it on, but it's for Gracie, so it's smaller. Okay, I did 10 on this. I'm probably gonna do like seven for Gracie because you don't want this back part to be really big. I did the back piece, so it was six centimeters. Keep in mind, if you're doing it with this horse, it's going to be bigger. Okay, uh, the next step is a bit harder. This is where it gets kind of complicated. So if I take 17 off, that'll leave me five in the middle, which is perfect. So we're gonna start not by casting off. We're gonna start, take your string, knit, stitch the first, I'd say three. So that's one. So that would leave us 15 here. Now you're going to cast off that 15. So in order to cast off, you're gonna go one. I like to do a stretchy cast off. So I'm gonna cast on one more. Then I'm gonna take it and split right there. Grab onto those two and jab the needle in. I don't know if I'm explaining this very well. Then you're gonna act like you're just doing the knit stitch, go around and then pull those two off and there's your first one out of 15. So that was two. So this will be three. And now you only need to cast on one because this one's left over. All right, so the next step would be see how I have this one left on here. Now I'm going to just knit regularly five of them. So that's one and five. Okay, now we're gonna do the exact same thing and cast off all of these. See how I've casted off all of these and I'm on my last four. I'm gonna do one cast off 
And then I'm gonna leave these three on, okay? So they should be, there should be three on the end left over. Now that I have these three, it looks one, two, three, then I'm just gonna go ahead and knit regularly. So that there should be three on the end, five or six in the middle, and three on the other end. Now you're just gonna ignore these two and knit this one about, I don't know how big, however big you want your ears to be. I usually do a good five centimeters. So I'll see when that is done. All right, so I have just finished this little cast thing. And instead of casting off these stitches, I'm gonna place this on it so they don't come undone. Now that it's on there, I should be able to take these off without them coming undone. See how it didn't come undone? Now I'm going to take this string, I'm gonna cut it and then tie it. So I'm gonna take it and slip. First section done. Now you have to move on to the next one, which should still be attached to your needles. I did 10 stitches for this, but if you're using different yarn, it will be different. So I have 10 stitches on this one, and I'll do 10 on this one, the middle one, and 10 on the edge one, so they're all the same. All right, I also forgot to mention, because you cut that off, you're gonna need to do another loop knot to get the string back on this. So I did a loop knot here, and I'm gonna slip it on the top where my middle piece is, and then pull it tight, and then this is just the string you're gonna use. It's basically like changing yarn, except for you didn't change colors. Okay, now that you have all your pieces knit, you're going to recast on the 17 on each side that you did. And I don't know if this is proper knitting, but you're literally, you're just gonna take it and just like stick your needle and pick these back up. By now you should have the little pattern down. Cut the string, tie a slip knot, and then put it on your needle and keep on knitting. I'm going to continue to go down around five rows, I think, because this is for Gracie, so obviously it's gonna be smaller. Then I'm gonna make the little triangle at the end. I'm gonna do that while switching colors. Again, I'm not the best at explaining things, so I'm gonna leave a tutorial in the description Right, this is where I am right now. See, I've done the blue, and there is a bad side and a good side when you do this. So make sure you stay on the good side if you're switching colors multiple times. Obviously, if you have a bigger horse, you're gonna want to bring this down, but because Gracie's just a miniature pony, or miniature horse, whatever you wanna call it, I'm gonna stop there. And now what I'm gonna do is cast off one on this side, so I'll show you. So I'll cast off one, go all the way to this end, and then I'll leave this one at the end, okay? So I'm gonna cast off one right now, here. And this is a different cast off than the one I was using before. So I'm doing one off and then grab another, but instead of knitting one, you're just gonna take this, the one that's on the bottom, and then pull it over the one that's on the top. And that is one cast off and now you should be left with one loop and then you're gonna knit all the way to the bottom and see i have one stitch left on the end now i'm gonna keep that stitch i'm gonna flip my work over so now this is in my left hand and this the part with all of it is in my right hand and then you're just going to take it do one stitch and cast off using that stitch from behind and you're gonna repeat this until the very end of your triangle. You can see how that stitch is just creating a really nice triangle. And there we have it, the nice little triangle. Mine got a little bit um, lopsided. I don't really know why, but obviously front side and then there's my back side.
Now it's time to attach the ears. I'm hand sewing these instead of using the knitting machine. And there it is, all done. It's gonna be so cute on Gracie. I didn't have a chance to try it on. I finished this pretty late at night. Anyways, hope this video was helpful. And if you do make this bonnet and have a YouTube channel, make sure to add me in your post because I definitely wanna see your beautiful creations. Bye.